Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching this week's scrapbook layout. Today I'm going to be using this photo of me and my sister. This was taken a few years ago on my birthday. Um, I've always liked it, it's just a really nice one of the two of us, so I thought I would use that one today. So I've got my Chasing Rainbows paper pack by First Edition. Um, sorry about the glare, there will be a bit in this video because I'm using, the, well you'll see in a minute, the cardstock that I choose. Um, it does kind of affect the lighting so it does dip in and out a little bit but it's still okay and hopefully you will still enjoy the video. So I'm just going through here choosing some papers. I've gone for that kind of purple, pinky, ombre. I've got this lovely floral and then this amazing iridescent card and that's the one that kind of plays with my camera a little so some of you now are probably thinking oh my gosh she's cutting right into a photo I am I just wanted the frame of me and my sister so I didn't want to get I got rid of the stairs in the background I didn't think that was that great and I quite like how we really pop against the card so I think it looks really really great so I'm just playing around now deciding how I'm actually going to put this together again you can see how dark the video goes as soon as that other card hits the lights but so I'm going to first of all do a little bit of matting and layering just to frame my photo. So I'm just using my roller tape here and sticking down the photo onto the pinky purple paper there. And then I will just fussy cut around that just so that it wasn't the photo direct onto the pattern paper. This just helps frame it a little bit. So I'm just using my bone folder there just to make sure that that tape's all stuck down nicely. And then I'll go around and just give it a nice little frame and um, yeah. Just think that just helps lift the photos a little bit so you just see there about a one eighth of an inch so once i've done that then i go back in again and just start playing around really with the layout and how i want this to kind of come together i wasn't i kind of go into my layouts with an idea but then that usually kind of completely changes so <laughs> the idea for this was to be quite floral but i initially thought the photo was going to be towards the bottom left and then I end up putting it in the middle, so it does completely change. So again, sorry, it's gone a bit dark there, but um, I'm just kind of thinking at the minute I was going to have that piece all along the bottom of the layout, and then I thought actually it'd be quite nice to have through the centre, and then I thought it looked a bit too plain, so then I pull out this polka dot paper, and I end up having that also with this and it, um, it's all from the same pack so it all looked really nice together. So I'm just distressing the edges here. This is the Dovecraft Distress Tool and it just roughs up the edges of your cardstock, just expose, exposing whatever the core of the paper is. So this is white core so it just gives you a nice rough white edge and you'll see that more in the, in the photos towards the end. So I'm just sticking that one down across the centre of that polka dot paper. Again, just making sure that it's all nicely stuck down don't want this obviously lifting off and then I've just trimmed that down to about an inch and a half over each side and again I'm just distressing it just so it all matches and then again just popping my tape on the back of that and sticking the whole piece down into the center of that 12 by 12 floral piece on the other side there you can see you've got the fun unicorns but you do get three of these sheets in the pack so I've got that to use for another one so now I'm starting to now kind of add more to it because I've kind of done my backgrounds. So I've just got my vellum here and I'm just pulling out a couple of sheets because I'm going to do some heat embossed flowers with the vellum. Um, so I'm just pulling out, this is just a stamping up one, it's quite an old one now, and I'm um, just choosing which ones I'm going to go for and I choose the two larger flowers just to do my heat embossing. So I'm just using my embossing buddy, just make sure I get all the static off of the vellum because when you initially stamp on this you can't, you can see the image but you can't really see if you've got the the versa mark you know anywhere else um or if you've got any grease still on there that you know your powder might stick to so you can start to see there when it catches the light where the flowers are so i just lift it up each time just so i can see where i'm gonna stamp each time so i don't obviously stamp over the top of one so i've done that there now and i'm just bringing in my wow opaque white super fine embossing powder brilliant stuff and i'm just going over there just making sure they're all nicely covered and um, you can see just how great they look, really nice on vellum. And I just thought it would bring a nice different look to the layout. So now I'm just heat setting them all. And again, it just brings out that real nice crisp white colour. And you get a really nice shine to them as well. So this takes no time at all. It's really easy to do. You just need to make sure you prepare it by making sure you rub off any grease marks and stuff. And then you'll get a really nice crisp stamped image. And you can see there how well once that hits the light, 
you can see it taking the it just changes the color slightly now i did go and do a load of silver as well but then with the shine from the iridescent paper and the just other bits i end up adding to it it just would have been too much so i end up keeping them for something else but i'm just using the coordinating punch here and it makes life much easier when you just go through and punch them all out so as if by magic there they are already and you can see all the silver ones as well because initially i was still thinking to use them but they don't get used but they will there's no way they're going to get wasted so now i'm just starting to play around where i'm going to put the flowers putting the photo down now with some foam adhesive i always like to do that i like to lift it off of the surface in case i want to pop anything underneath it and i just think it gives a nice little bit of dimension and then I'm going to add some foam squares. I'm just trimming them down a bit and I'm going to add them onto the backs of all of these flowers. Because it's vellum and there's white, it, was, it didn't matter that you might have been able to see some of these white foam stickers behind. In fact, I'm looking at the layout now and you can't notice it. But the fact they're white, it wouldn't have made a difference. You know, it, it was for that reason I used the white so you wouldn't, you know, notice it. So you can see there where I'm starting to stick them in. I was still thinking, should I use the silver? But I don't because I end up bringing in a load more white flowers from other collections. So I picked up this ribbon the other day from B&M. And I'm just putting a strip just slightly behind our heads along the, um, the top middle part there. I'm just putting some red double sided tape on the back because these are, it's like paper ribbon. It's, it's hard to explain. It's like a, a tough paper coated that's it it's a coated paper so i'm just putting some double sided tape on it now i'm just bringing in my caddy here i've just got tons all of my alphas and other stickers and all kinds of bits and pieces so i'm just going through there sorting out really what ones i want to use and i end up pulling out all the kind of silvery bits and um, some matching white flowers and these doilies so i'm just trimming it down i just i thought afterwards oh damn it I, I usually like to put a little doily in so i'd forgot but because i'd raised the photo up this is why i mean it's handy to do that you could see there i just tuck that doily in just to the right hand side behind my sister so this is one of the rosie studio these are the puffy stickers and um, i'm just bringing in the one that says beautiful it's really lovely really beautiful font <laughs> and I'm going to stick that one just along the top there so at the minute I was just thinking it was just going to say beautiful and then later on I end up adding a bit more to it this one here says I heart this which I just like that um, that saying and it is like I said it's one of my favorite photos of me and my sister so I'm just sticking down that piece of the doily I forgot I hadn't done it until I went to go and put down the little I heart this so I just stick that one down and then I just stick that over the top. So that's that one done. These were some fabric flowers I picked up from the range a while back and I just start adding them in. I really like the contrast between the vellum and the fabric. So, and they were the same size. So it just started to, again, add a bit more depth to the layout. And these are from Rosie's Studio. These are paper flowers and I also add them in as well. So I had the three different white flowers and it just, again, it gave a really nice effect and just started really building up this layout and I really liked it so you can see I've just added one above my sister's head I've got one down to the left one just below my sister and then that was it so again I stick them all down with with extra glue as well so now I thought I'm going to add in smile so beautiful smile because that's what we both have then my mum really likes this photo of us as well so I stick that one directly next to it just underneath that flower slightly and I just thought that looked really nice added some of the hearts which were from the same puffy sticker pack and I just think that looks nice with them kind of you know floating off the tops of the left and the right there of the saying and um, I just again pop some glue on before I stick it all down these are some more Rosie Studio butterflies so I'm adding them in the little acetate ones and they matched really well and um, I do end up adding another one as well towards the bottom later on oh there we go I'm doing it now <laughs> <laughs> so I've got the small one in amongst the flowers and the larger one at the top again just starts to pull it all together then I'm bringing in these are some of the gemstones again by Rosie Studio but the green worked really nicely so I'm just kind of randomly placing them around the layout again just looks really nice then this is the X's again from the puffy sticker so I just kept going to and throw I kind of you know and I did walk away from this for about 45 minutes something like that I had other things to do and um, yeah, so you, you then think of other things to do with it. So I'm just bringing in some of the green now. This has got like a diamond glitter embossed stamp image over the top. That was a mouthful. 
Then I was bringing in this die here because I wanted to add some leaf leaf effect, but this one just didn't, it wasn't the right kind of leaf. It was too jungle-like and I just thought, no, that doesn't look right. So I pull out a stamping up one and I just put that one through my die machine and it just, you can see there, just had a much nicer look. So as if by magic again, I've gone and done loads of them and you can see all the green leaves everywhere now and just how full this layout's become. Um, I was really enjoying it and I used every little bit of the leaves, cut them all down and um, yeah, it just looks really nice. So now I'm just bringing in that box of <laughs> random stuff. There's so many funny sentiments or titles or whatever you, subtitles you want to call them in that box. So I've pulled out this one here that says paint the town red. Then I've got this one which says glamorous. And just pop that one in there. Then I've got this one that says all dressed up. Again, really like it. All appropriate as we were on our way out that night with a group of friends. And then I'm just finishing off with a A with pink Nuva drops. I'm try, I was trying to think of the name. I can't remember what the name was, but it's a pink glittery one. And I just fill lots of little areas with that. And I thought it looked really nice. So as you know, when the Nuvo drops come in, that means it's the end of the layout. So there are some close-ups of me waving it around. And you can see the just how nice that all looks. Yeah, love this one. So now you see all the close-ups of the stills and yeah, really nice. That is more of the true colour when I photograph them because that's in my light box. So that is the colour you would see them if you were, you know, it was daytime. So you can see there just how full it is. Just, you know, go, as I always say, just go with the flow, do whatever you want because somehow it just always works out. So I very rarely really change a layout apart from that one a couple of weeks ago where I hacked it and cut it all up. But even that way, you know, I didn't waste anything and it all turned out lovely. So hope you enjoy it. Hope I've inspired you again. Have a lovely Sunday and I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.